NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has hardly opened its eyes, and the universe is new. Proxima Centauri b, a planet located just 4.2 light-years from Earth, has sparked curiosity among scientists and space enthusiasts alike. This potentially habitable world is the closest exoplanet to our solar system, but no one anticipated the discovery that would challenge everything we thought we knew about planets in the habitable zone. What did this new James Webb telescope finding reveal about Proxima Centauri b, and how could it change our understanding of life beyond Earth? Let's take a closer look at this groundbreaking discovery and what it means for the future of space exploration. We are one step closer to answering the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? Is there another planet that's very close to Earth, similar to ours, where there could be a civilization? To believe that we're the only one is, I think, rather ridiculous. The James Webb Telescope has recently unveiled something unsettling on Proxima b, a discovery that has left many in awe and disbelief. But before we delve into what the telescope revealed and how Elon Musk responded, it is important to understand the groundbreaking technology behind the James Webb Telescope and why Proxima b has become such a focal point in the search for life beyond Earth. Let's take a closer look at what makes James Webb so extraordinary and what we know about Proxima b, an exoplanet that has captured the imaginations of scientists and space enthusiasts alike. The James Webb Space Telescope is one of the most advanced and ambitious space observatories ever built. But what makes this telescope so special, and why was it created? To understand its importance, we need to go back in time to the early 2000s when scientists and engineers began imagining what could take humanity's understanding of the universe to the next level. Their solution was something unprecedented, a telescope that could peer deeper into space and farther back in time than anything before it. The James Webb Space Telescope was created to answer some of the biggest questions in astronomy, how did the universe begin? What were the first galaxies like? How do stars and planets form? To explore these questions, astronomers needed a telescope that could observe the universe in ways that older telescopes, like the Hubble Space Telescope, couldn't. Hubble had done incredible work capturing stunning images and providing valuable data for over 30 years, but it only observed the universe in visible and ultraviolet light. To explore even more of the universe's secrets, scientists realized they needed to build a telescope that could observe infrared light, a type of light that is invisible to the human eye but holds vital information about distant objects in the cosmos. Infrared light allows us to see through dust clouds that often hide objects in space. It also helps astronomers study the formation of stars and galaxies that are too far away to be seen in visible light. With infrared capabilities, the James Webb Space Telescope would be able to peer into the hearts of distant galaxies, unravel the mysteries of how the universe evolved, and even observe exoplanets with a level of detail that could revolutionize our understanding of potentially habitable worlds. The idea of the James Webb Telescope wasn't new. In fact, it had been brewing for decades. The concept began to take shape in the 1990s when astronomers started to realize that the next big leap in space observation had to be in the infrared spectrum. But building a telescope that could operate in space, millions of miles away from Earth, required more than just an idea, it required groundbreaking technology, precision engineering, and international collaboration. The project officially kicked off in 2002 when NASA, along with its partners, the European Space Agency and the Canadian Space Agency, began the ambitious task of designing and building the James Webb Space Telescope. It was clear from the start that this would not be an easy project. The James Webb Space Telescope had to be powerful enough to perform intricate tasks like examining the atmospheres of distant exoplanets but also durable enough to survive in the harsh environment of space. One of the most remarkable aspects of the James Webb Telescope is its size. The telescope's primary mirror is a massive 21 feet in diameter, more than twice the size of Hubble's mirror. This allows the James Webb Telescope to collect more light and see further than any previous space telescope. However, the large mirror presented an engineering challenge. A mirror this size couldn't be folded up into a rocket and launched as one solid piece. Instead, the mirror was designed to be made up of 18 smaller hexagonal segments that would unfold once the telescope reached space. Each of these segments had to be precisely aligned, and the assembly process took years of planning and testing. The materials used in the telescope's construction were just as critical. The primary mirror segments are made of a special gold-coated beryllium material. Gold was chosen because it reflects infrared light more efficiently than other materials, making it ideal for the telescope's infrared observations. Beryllium, on the other hand, is lightweight, strong, and stable across a wide range of temperatures, important for a telescope that would be operating in the extreme cold of space. The telescope is also equipped with a sunshield the size of a tennis court, made from a special material called captain. 
This shield protects the telescope from the heat of the sun, keeping it cool enough to observe faint infrared signals from distant objects. The sun shield is made up of five layers of captain, and each layer serves as a barrier to block out sunlight and prevent the telescope's instruments from overheating. Building the James Webb Telescope required not just advanced materials but also cutting-edge technology. For example, the telescope uses a new type of infrared detector that is far more sensitive than anything used before. These detectors can capture the faintest signals from the universe, allowing scientists to observe galaxies that formed billions of years ago. The telescope's instruments include a near-infrared camera, NIRCAM, a near-infrared spectrograph, NIRSpec, a mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, and a fine guidance sensor slash near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph, FGS slash NIRIS. Together, these instruments allow the telescope to study everything from the formation of stars to the atmospheres of distant planets. One of the most innovative features of the James Webb Telescope is its location. Unlike Hubble, which orbits Earth, the James Webb Space Telescope is stationed at a location called the Second Lagrange Point, L2, about a million miles from Earth. This position allows the telescope to have a clear, unobstructed view of the universe. Being at L2 also helps the telescope maintain a stable temperature, as it can remain in the shadow of the Earth and Sun, which is essential for infrared observations. L2 is not just a convenient place to put the telescope, it also allows the James Webb Telescope to have a wide field of view. This is crucial for its mission, which includes studying everything from distant galaxies to the formation of new stars. The instruments of the James Webb Space Telescope are capable of observing objects in unprecedented detail, making it a powerful tool for scientific discovery. The launch of the telescope in December 2021 was a historic moment. After years of development, testing, and delays, the telescope finally began its journey to L2 aboard an Ariane 5 rocket. The launch was a nerve-wracking event as the telescope had to travel through space and unfold its many complex components. The deployment of the solar panels, mirror segments, and sunshield all had to happen perfectly to ensure the telescope would function properly. It was a risky journey, but everything went according to plan. Once the telescope reached L2 and all its components were fully deployed, scientists began the delicate process of calibrating the instruments. This included adjusting the mirror segments to ensure they were perfectly aligned. The entire process took several months, but the wait was worth it. In the first few months of operation, the telescope began to deliver stunning images of the universe, showing galaxies, nebulae, and other cosmic objects in incredible detail. The James Webb Space Telescope is revolutionizing our understanding of the universe. One of its primary missions is to study the formation of the first galaxies that appeared after the Big Bang. These early galaxies are incredibly faint and difficult to observe, but the telescope's infrared capabilities allow scientists to peer back in time and observe them as they were billions of years ago. But are scientists scared after the shocking discovery of Proxima b? What is this planet? Proxima b, often called the New Earth, has captured the attention of astronomers, space enthusiasts, and those intrigued by the possibility of life beyond our planet. Situated in the habitable zone of its star, Proxima b presents itself as one of the most promising candidates for discovering extraterrestrial life. To understand why Proxima b is so important, it is essential to examine the star system it belongs to and the planet itself. Proxima b orbits Proxima Centauri, the closest known star to our sun Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf star located approximately 4.24 light-years away from Earth in the constellation of Centaurus. Even though Proxima Centauri is the closest star to us, it is not visible to the naked eye due to its faintness. However, its proximity has made it a subject of intense interest in astronomy. Proxima Centauri is part of a triple star system alongside Alpha Centauri A and Alpha Centauri B, which are relatively close neighbors to one another. Proxima Centauri itself is much smaller and cooler than our Sun, which has both advantages and challenges for planets orbiting it. Red dwarfs like Proxima Centauri are known for their longevity, burning for trillions of years compared to the Sun's estimated 10 billion year lifespan. This extended lifespan provides planets orbiting such stars a much longer period to develop and sustain life, given the right conditions. However, red dwarfs also present hazards, including intense stellar flares that could potentially strip away a planet's atmosphere or disrupt conditions necessary for life. These stars are notorious for having strong magnetic fields and emitting radiation bursts. Proxima b was discovered in 2016 by a team of astronomers using data from the European Southern Observatory spectrograph. The planet was found through the radial velocity method, which detects small shifts in a star's position due to the gravitational tug of an orbiting planet. This discovery made Proxima be one of the most exciting planets in the search for extraterrestrial life.
The planet orbits Proxima Centauri once every 11 Earth days, which means it is much closer to its star than Earth is to the Sun. What makes Proxima be particularly intriguing is its location within the so-called habitable zone of its star, sometimes referred to as the Goldilocks zone. The habitable zone is the region around a star where conditions are just right for liquid water to exist on a planet's surface. Liquid water is considered one of the key ingredients for life as we know it, making Proxima b an exciting target for astrobiology research. If Proxima b has the right conditions, it could potentially support life, making it a prime target for future studies. However, several factors influence whether Proxima b can actually harbor life. First, scientists must consider the planet's size and composition. Proxima b is roughly 20% larger than Earth, placing it in the category of an Earth-like planet. Its mass is also comparable to Earth's, suggesting that it could have a similar rocky composition. However, researchers still do not know for certain what the planet's atmosphere is like or whether it has one at all. The presence of an atmosphere is crucial for maintaining liquid water on the surface, as it helps regulate temperature and pressure. Without an atmosphere, any water on the planet would likely freeze or evaporate. The surface conditions of Proxima b remain a mystery. Because the planet orbits so closely to its star, it may be tidally locked, meaning one side of the planet always faces the star while the other side remains in perpetual darkness. This could create extreme temperature differences between the day side and the night side. On the day side, temperatures could be very high, while the night side could be freezing cold. This kind of temperature contrast could make it difficult for life to survive. However, some scientists believe that if Proxima b has an atmosphere, heat could be distributed more evenly across the planet, reducing these extremes. Another challenge for Proxima b is the radiation emitted by Proxima Centauri. As a red dwarf, Proxima Centauri is known to release intense solar flares that could bombard the planet with high levels of radiation. These flares are capable of stripping away a planet's atmosphere, particularly if the planet is in close proximity to its star. It remains uncertain whether Proxima b's atmosphere, if it exists, could withstand this kind of radiation. However, some models suggest that Proxima b might have a magnetic field strong enough to protect it from stellar wind and radiation. If it does, this could increase its chances of being habitable. Despite these challenges, there are reasons to be optimistic about Proxima b's potential. Its position in the habitable zone of Proxima Centauri means that it is in the right location for liquid water to exist, which is a promising sign. If the planet has a strong enough atmosphere and the right chemical conditions, it could support life in some form. For example, it could harbor microbial life or perhaps even more complex organisms, though scientists can only speculate about what kind of life might exist there. In addition to its location in the habitable zone, Proxima b has been a target of intense interest because of its proximity to Earth. At just over four light-years away, Proxima b is within reach of future interstellar missions. Although the technology to send spacecraft to such distant locations is not yet available, scientists are exploring ways to develop advanced propulsion systems that could one day allow humanity to visit or study this intriguing exoplanet more closely. The closest we have come to sending a spacecraft to another star system is the Breakthrough Starshot Initiative, which aims to send tiny, light-powered probes to Alpha Centauri in just over 20 years. These probes, if successful, could help us learn more about Proxima b and other nearby exoplanets. The study of Proxima b could also inform our understanding of other exoplanets in similar environments. With the discovery of thousands of exoplanets in the past few decades, scientists are now in the early stages of determining which planets might be capable of supporting life. Proxima b is one of the closest and most accessible examples of a potentially habitable planet, and studying it could provide valuable insights into the conditions necessary for life to thrive on other worlds. The discovery of Proxima b has raised exciting possibilities for the future of space exploration and the search for life beyond Earth. It represents a step forward in our understanding of exoplanets and the potential for life in the universe. However, we still have much to learn about the planet, and much of the information we need will only come with further research and observation. Currently, telescopes like the Hubble Space Telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope are providing the tools necessary to study Proxima b from afar. The James Webb Space Telescope observes the planet in greater detail, looking for signs of an atmosphere and studying its chemical composition. It might also help determine whether Proxima b has a stable climate and whether it could support life. In the future, Proxima b may become a prime target for more advanced space missions. With the development of new technologies, we could one day send probes to the planet to study its surface and atmosphere up close. While such missions are still far off, the idea of exploring Proxima b and learning more about its potential for life is an exciting prospect for future generations. But what went awry? 
What shocking discovery did the James Webb Space Telescope make? When the James Webb Space Telescope first began its mission to explore the far reaches of space, the world was watching closely, eagerly anticipating the groundbreaking discoveries it would reveal. After all, this is the most powerful space observatory ever launched, designed to peer deeper into the cosmos than any telescope before it. But no one could have predicted the terrifying surprise it would uncover when it turned its gaze toward Proxima b, the exoplanet located just 4.2 light-years away in the habitable zone of Proxima Centauri. The James Webb Space Telescope revealed a terrible nightmare on Proxima b, and its findings were shocking. What the JWST discovered was a nightmare that sent shockwaves through the scientific community and beyond, particularly to those like Elon Musk who had set their sights on Proxima b as a potential second home for humanity. Proxima b had always been a subject of fascination for astronomers. The potential for life on Proxima b was already a tantalizing thought, could it harbor microbial life? Could humans one day colonize it as a backup plan if Earth became uninhabitable? These were the kinds of questions that sparked the imagination of countless scientists and visionaries, including Elon, who has long advocated for humanity's need to become a multiplanetary species. The dream of reaching Proxima b seemed almost within reach. With advancements in space travel and the development of new technologies, scientists were beginning to consider the possibility of sending probes and even humans to this distant world. But everything changed when the James Webb Space Telescope captured something shocking, an unnatural light emanating from the surface of Proxima b. At first, it was difficult for the scientists reviewing the data to believe what they were seeing. The light detected in the infrared spectrum was unlike anything they had observed on any other exoplanet before. It wasn't the kind of light that would come from natural sources like stars or volcanic activity. This was something else entirely, something artificial. And it could only mean one thing, Proxima b might not be the lifeless, barren world we had assumed it to be. As soon as the news broke, the scientific community was in a frenzy. Was this a sign of extraterrestrial life? Was Proxima b already home to an advanced civilization, one capable of producing artificial light? The implications of such a discovery were enormous. The idea that we might not be alone in the universe suddenly seemed more real than ever. But it also introduced an unsettling question, if there were intelligent beings on Proxima b, what would that mean for humanity's future? Elon Musk, a vocal advocate for space exploration and colonization, was devastated by the news. Elon had long been focused on Mars as the next frontier for human life. It was time to tell everything, this could be potentially catastrophic for our advancement. If proven true, what if these species were hostile? His company, SpaceX, had made huge strides in developing spacecraft capable of reaching Mars, with plans to one day establish a human colony there. But Proxima b had always been in his mind as a distant backup option. After all, it was located in the habitable zone of a star, and unlike Mars, it had the potential to support life in a way that was far more Earth-like. The discovery of unnatural light on Proxima b, however, meant that his dreams of sending humans there were suddenly much more complicated. For Elon and for many others, the revelation raised several urgent questions. If there were already beings on Proxima b, could humans coexist with them? Would we find a peaceful, mutually beneficial relationship, or would we encounter hostility? And perhaps most disturbing of all, how would life on Proxima b differ from life on Earth? What if the beings on Proxima b were so different from us, so alien, that they couldn't be reasoned with or understood in any meaningful way? Meanwhile, the general public and those involved in space exploration were left to grapple with the implications of this discovery. If there were indeed intelligent life on Proxima b, what did that mean for humanity's place in the universe? Would we find ourselves as just another species trying to survive on a planet already occupied by beings who may have been there long before us? Could we ever reach Proxima b, and if we did, how would we navigate the complex dynamics of interacting with another form of life, one that might be radically different from anything we have ever known? Perhaps, in a more optimistic scenario, Proxima b's inhabitants would be peaceful, their technology far more advanced than ours but with no interest in conflict. Maybe they would welcome humanity as a fellow species eager to share knowledge and resources. Whether we are prepared for what lies out there remains to be seen, but one thing is certain, the universe is far more mysterious and potentially more dangerous than we ever thought. Should we stick to Mars, or could we potentially reach Proxima b? Let us know in the comments.